If you guys want to know some uh, secret tips on how to rank up quickly and reach that juicy predator rank, keep watching this video and I'll show you some tips. But before I do, EA have actually sponsored me and they're going to be giving me five welcome packages for you guys that include weapon skins legend skins in-game syndicate gold and in order to win that all you have to do is subscribe hit a like and drop a comment down below including your in-game name and in the next 24 hours five of you legends are going to win one of these welcome packages it's as easy as that now for you bronze bots are you ready to rank up quickly let's go okay so a lot of you guys are new to apex legends mobile and the first thing you have to do is reach level eight to even unlock rank mode now the quickest way to do that is not playing battle royale team deathmatch is the way forward. In team deathmatch, there's not that many players playing it, so you're going to go up against a lot of bots, and every single game you finish, you get between 2,000 to 3,000 experience. So technically, every two matches you play, you can level up your account, and the games are super quick as well, so play team deathmatch, not battle royale to level up quickly. Another thing to level up quickly, if you've already got it, is an experience card. There are some double XP cards that you can actually gain, and use one of those to level up quickly as well. And if you haven't bought the battle pass, then go to the link in the description, and you'll see a fat giveaway for some free battle passes. Now, let's Let's talk about ranked. I see a lot of you guys struggling in those iron and bronze ranks, all right? It's tough out there. There's some good players in Apex Mobile already, and I'm about to show you some tips on how you can get good as well. Now, the first thing I would say for ranked is you need a team, but that's not the case. Now, the ranks go from iron, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, master, and then that juicy predator rank. I've been grinding for literally 30 plus hours non-stop, and I'm literally just going into diamond now. So that just shows how hard this game is to rank. Now, each rank rank has a sub tier of five different ranks, meaning that you have to go from iron five all the way to iron one in order to go up to bronze. Now, pretty much from iron all the way up to silver, you can kind of solo queue and just play with randoms. The competition isn't that hard in the lower ranks yet, and there's a lot of bots in the game, which I'll get onto in a second. Anything past gold, you're going to want to prepare yourself with a team, which I'll also get into a second as well. Now, every time you load into the game, you need to think of one thing, getting kills, and getting the win. It's obvious, right? Now, how many kills do you actually need to get to get points? Apex Mobile ranked caps you at six kills. So any kills you get past six kills, like seven, eight, nine, ten, those won't give you any rank points. So it's only the first six kills that get you rank points. And also assists as well count for kill points too. So the first thing you want to focus on is getting kills. And that's what leads me to my next thing, okay? Bots. I didn't want to bring this up in the video, guys, but again, this is a guide on how to rank up really quickly. So I feel disgusting saying it, but I'm going to tell you how to do it. Yes, there are bots in ranked, and there is a lot of them. It is a new game, so hopefully more players playing it will decrease the bot amounts. But if you check this image right here, it is a map that shows all of the spawn points for bots. Now, bots are super easy to kill. They do hit you for a lot of damage, and they've got literally laser aim, but anyone can pretty much kill bots, right? So the first thing you want to do is land on pretty much a bot team, and then after you've got your six kills or assists, which also count for both. So let's say you've got three kills or three assists, that'll still count for six. One thing I'm actually going to mention as well is each kill gives you a certain amount of rank points. This is why I'm saying probably not to go against bots because you'll get more rank points by killing actual players. I'm almost diamond. So let's say I'm diamond rank right now. If I kill a player that's two ranks below me in gold, then I will get less rank points for killing someone who's a higher rank than me. So if I kill a predator, I'll get more rank points. If I kill a gold player who's two rank points below, I'll get less rank points, but it's still capped at six. So it's up to you if you want to go against bots. It's a quick way to get points, but you will get less points for killing bots and more points for killing players. Now, the second big thing you want to focus on is getting the win or placing as high as you can in the game. I'm in platinum rank right now, so if I get six kills, it usually gets me between 30 to 35 points. But then if I get the win, it doubles that, so I get around 60 to 70 points. Think of this, every time you go into a game, you're spending your own rank points to play that game. If you go out first with no kills, you're pretty much going to get minus points, and you don't want that at all, especially in the higher ranks. So honestly, the absolute best thing to do is kill a few bot teams, maybe a few good players as well, Kind of camp it out until the end if you're not that good at the game and you don't feel comfortable going up against a load of players. And either aim for first, second, or third. Obviously, first you want to aim for, but coming second or third will get you some good rank points as well. In the lower ranks, this doesn't really matter. But again, once you hit, reach those higher ranks like gold and above, placement points are the most important thing. You do not want to get minus points. Now, you can actually de-rank from each rank, but there is a little gate that stops you from doing so. So if I'm platinum five right now and I lose a load of games, then I can actually de-rank 
right down to gold. So getting positive plus points every single game is very important. Now, the next thing is a team. Now, the absolute meta right now is a Wraith, a Gibraltar, and a Bloodhound. Now, Wraith is super good because her ultimate is a portal. So she can kind of be used as a scout by portaling into fights to check it out with your team. And then if it gets too tough, you can portal straight back through. And again, she can auto portal out of fights as well if you're stuck in a building and surrounded. Gibraltar is super good because he's got his bubble and his ultimate. So pretty much if any team pushes you or if you get into trouble, you can use your bubble to fight them in a bubble and then use your ultimate, which is basically like a barrage of missiles that come down and destroy the enemy. And then Bloodhound is the most important because he is basically the main scout of the game. And his scans pretty much show up their enemies in orange over anything. You can see them through walls, trees, buildings, everything. Now, one big tip. If you're going to rat it out, you know, and get those bot kills at the start and really go for those high ranks and you're not confident enough to go against the last teams, some of you guys don't actually know about this, okay? World's Edge has beacons. These specific beacons can be scanned by certain legends. At the moment, it's only Bloodhound and Pathfinder that can scan them. You can find these beacons scattered all around the map and they're usually on top of some of the buildings. After scanning them, it basically shows you where the next ring location is going to be. And what's good is once your ring that you're in now closes down and it shows that next ring location, you can use the scan again and you can see where the last one is. So technically, if you're going to rat it out, you can pretty much go around all of these beacons, find out where the last ring is and just sit and camp. But I don't recommend doing that if you actually want to get good at rank. The last thing I would literally just say, playing ranked, especially when you get to the higher tiers again, is just play with your team. Have communication, all have microphones and call out everything that you play. And again, just remember the two important things. Go in for 6 KP, which are kill points or assists, and go in for placement points. It's a long grind, but if you stick to these, then you should rank up a lot quicker. Now, I hope this guide has been useful. If you've got any questions, make sure you drop a comment down below. And make sure you don't forget to comment your in-game name as well, because I'm going to pick 5 winners in the next 24 hours to win a nice, juicy welcome package in the game. I've got a lot more videos to come, so thank you guys for supporting me. Make sure you sub, make sure you hit a like, and I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace!